Are there possible magic statues in the works? Yesterday on Facebook, 3D artist Gilberto Magno, who has done work for games such as Warhammer 40k, Dawn of War 3, Overwatch, and The Evil Within 2, posted a partial image of a 3D Ajani. Also on the image was a logo for Prime One Studios, a Japanese manufacturer of high-end statues and busts. With all this information combined, there's a good guess that we might see high-quality statues of some of the Gatewatch members in the near future. Now, the question becomes, where will these be used? The Hascon announcement earlier this week did mention, quote, photo ops with mind-blowing Magic the Gathering 3D sculpts, but Prime One's Amazon shop also has a lot of one-half and one-third scale statues for sale. Prime One also showed off an unpainted statue of Nico Bolas in February during Winter Wonder Festival, an anime and figure convention held twice a year in Japan. What do you think? Exclusives for conventions, high-end collectibles, or something else? Let us know in the comments. With Hour of Devastation releasing tomorrow, we of course have some reprinted cards with new artwork. And the folks over at Original Magic Art want to know which versions you prefer in the reprint rumble. With cards like Kindled Fury, Strategic Planning, and the iconic Unsummon, you can vote for your favorite versions of the artwork and see Josh Krause's picks along with his explanations. If the reprint rumble follows previous trends, you can expect to vote on the Hour of Devastation invocations in the next couple of weeks. In other voting news, the Magic Bracket, which was started last November for people to vote for the best Magic card of all time, is in its last batch for round one. The first round consisted of over 16,000 unique cards, with one batch going up each day and staying open for a week. After this final batch ends, the bracket will go into the round of 8,192 cards, including the 41 buys that were awarded to make round two even. Round two will start on Monday, July 24th. Finally on the Magic homepage today, Organized Play content specialist Mike Rosenberg reveals the playmats that will be available at all the Grand Prix events through September. With artwork from cards such as Bantu's Last Reckoning in Minneapolis, Hour of Devastation in Washington DC and Turin, and the Invocation Damnation in Metz and Indianapolis, the most unique playmat is probably the one for Grand Prix Denver, which features concept art of Nico Bolas. That's our show for today, July 13th. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with all the latest magic news and strategy. I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this has been Split Second.